Howdy howdy everyone I am Amit from mailsmartly.com Today in this video you will learn a very interesting topic which is flag for me versus flag for recipient Although we all know what is flagging if you want to flag an email that will automatically set a reminder or tag that mail in a to-do list or your task which will remind you for the mail so first of all i want to show you how it works so here i am on my outlook 365 and i want to create a new email so i simply hit new email from the top left corner or i can also use control n once i click on it my new email window appears so here first of all i have to enter the email address of my recipient so i hit the email address of myself to show you the difference between flag to me and flag to recipient enter the subject i entered flag for me versus flag for recipient as an subject also now once your email is created all you have to do is go to the message tag in the tag section you will see follow up when you click on that there are tons of options you have to select custom that will open a custom dialog box you will see two options here flag to me which is already selected and flag for recipient which is not you can either select this or this or both of them at a the same time so in my case to explain you what is the difference between flag to me and flag to recipients i select both of them now first flag for me flag to there are tons of options again follow up for your information forward no response necessary read reply reply to all and review or call do not forward these are few options you can use to flag the email so i simply use follow up i don't want to change anything you can use the start date you can use the due date you can also set the reminder to yourself currently i am talking to about flag to me so you can set the reminder to yourself the reminder will be set on the same date of the due date and you can add the timing today is 29th of july so the system automatically take it to the d plus 1 now the next option is flag for recipient again flag to follow up for your information all the details are similar to the above i can again select the follow up i don't want to change anything now you can also opt for the reminder for your recipient also so you have to select this checkbox select the date if you don't it will automatically take as a d plus 1 date you can set the timing also for reminder and simply hit okay now you will see a small notification appears on the email which is after this message is sent it will be flagged to you with the following information follow up start by 30th july 2023 due by 30th july 2023 reminder 30 july 2023 8 am and recipient receive follow up by 30 july 2023 8 am now the next step is i have to send this mail when i click send button the mail is sent to my recipient and the same email is saved in my send box so i will show you the difference the major difference so go to the send items and you will see the mail the mail i have sent to myself is flag for me versus flag for recipient you will see a small option here this indicates that the mail is tagged to myself as well as to my recipient so not only that if you go to the to do list which is available on the top left area of your screen you will see the same email is added in my task section also when i click to to do see flagged email see this is the email which i have talking about that this task is already added and i have to act on this email once the date appears means tomorrow outlook automatically remind me of this email and i have to act on this email this is about myself because i have sent this email 
to my recipient. But if I go to my recipient email address, so I select my other email address, I have sent the email to, see, this is my other email address. I already sent the email to myself. So I have received this email from myself, flag to me versus flag for recipient. You will see a small option here, a tagging. That means somebody tagged you as a reminder. So not only that, that your recipient received this email, the your recipient email is also added in a task section. So I again go to my to-do list and see, this is there is an option flagged email. When you click on it, see, your recipient also check out this, e this email in his to-do list. The email is added in a task section as well. Your recipient also receive a reminder from Outlook as soon as the deadline D plus one, which I have set and he has to react on that email. So that way you can remind yourself as well as you can set a reminder for your recipient. This is a very beautiful feature in Microsoft Outlook. I regularly use this feature in my office work to set reminders to my colleagues, my juniors, so they can act on that email and respond quickly. If you have learned something new from this video, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solvers videos I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.